hey hey everyone welcome back to my channel i am your host alexis monet and before we get started make sure you all hit that like share and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video okay everyone so it was reported by tmz that cardi b may be naming her sophomore album defamation of character or intrusive thoughts now in my opinion i do believe that is a good title for her sophomore album it's a good play on her first album titled invasion of privacy but we'll see if cardi does drop this year now speaking of people dropping new music lotto did release her third studio album called sugar honey iced tea now to rate this album i will give it a 6.8 out of 10 lotto did have good verses but the flow was boring and very repetitive she sounded the same in each song and although the album was produced and mixed well it did seem very boring and lackluster and low-key did sound like a bunch of throwaway songs that drake and 21 savage did not want for their album her loss now it is being reported that lotto's album is gearing for a top 20 debut on the billboard 200 chart and there are predictions that lotto will sell 27k units the first week and I will say for Lotto, that is good numbers because in my opinion, again, she really didn't have that much momentum leading up to this album, but it does seem like other people are enjoying the album. Now, moving along to the next topic. Now, it does seem like Nicki Minaj may have shaded Lotto along with Drake on Station Head. Now, we all know that Drake and Nicki Minaj have been label mates for a very long time and they did come up together in the music industry. We also know that Nicki and Lotto did have a very nasty public falling out and an ongoing beef and since then nikki and her haven't been cool so everyone did side eye drake recently when he featured lotto on a single called housekeeping and it does seem like nikki did shade them both on station head so check this out so i'm, I'm going one and i'm going two they know they forever gonna have a willing participant because our girls are so desperate for this money, you know. They so desperate. If a mother tell them to go and um catch a wild tuna skin it and eat it, they they would do it. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? They would teach themselves that very day how to hunt, fish, swim, kill, eat, cook, every mother thing. You see, because because they want it so bad they can taste it. And when you taste it, you want it again. But honey child, I ain't finna taste no more. Now, child, I don't know about y'all, but Nikki mocking Lotto's accent is hilarious because allegedly Lotto has a fake accent. But I do agree with Nikki. Drake kind of does look like a clown. Not kind of, but he does because going to sit with an op of Nikki's does seem snakish. Because what if Nikki went to go do a song with Kendrick after Kendrick has whacked Drake several times with his mini disses and his number one hit single, Not Like Us? So if Nikki did that, everybody would be looking at her crazy and calling her fake so the same should be said for drake keep that same energy with champagne poppy and his flop song that he did with lotto but you let me know how you feel about these topics down below thank you again for joining me for another video and until next time bye